Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope everybody's doing good. I want to do a late night podcast with you guys. So we had a wonderful conversation yesterday on Instagram. Everyone was talking about the Lizzo versus Jillian Michaels controversy. So the whole situation was crazy. We had a lot of comments, a lot of debate, a lot of back and forth. And I promise you guys I would do a video. I fell asleep last night, so I didn't get it out last night. But you know, today's a brand new day, okay? So I'm here. So let's go ahead and break down this whole situation. So if you guys do not know, Jillian Michaels was on BuzzFeed. Um, this was two days ago. So she was on Bu- so she was on a BuzzFeed news show called AM to DM. And basically, nobody, nobody at all. Nobody, baby. Nobody. All of a sudden, the BuzzFeed interviewer decides to, you know, start talking about Lizzo and bring Lizzo into the conversation. And Jillian Michaels basically said that, you know, why are we celebrating her body? Why does it matter? Why aren't we celebrating her music? And then she says it's not going to be awesome if she, you know, gets diabetes. So this caused a whole bunch of controversy on social media. I want you guys to go ahead and watch that clip and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Um, why are we celebrating her body? Why does it matter? That's what I'm saying. Like, why aren't we celebrating her music? Because it isn't going to be awesome if she gets diabetes. All right, so you guys just saw what Jillian Michaels had to say on that show. So like I said, it caused a lot of backlash. Folks were coming for her. They were accusing her of fat shaming and being fat phobic. So it was a hot mess. If you guys don't know, earlier in the week, Lizzo came out and she basically announced that she was taking a break from Twitter. She was tired of the Twitter trolls, okay? What happened is that this is not the first but the second time a video of a big girl has gone viral and people have said it was Lizzo. I even got caught up in this. Um, Somebody sent me a video. They're like, look, Lizzo's on the table dancing, and she busted her ass. I'm like, what the hell is Lizzo on? I thought it was Lizzo. So this video went viral. Then come to find out it wasn't Lizzo. So then once again, the Twitter trolls, they decided to start another campaign showing how fat she was. And so they said that Lizzo was basically tipping over a golf cart. So you guys just saw that video. And basically, this is an old video. Like, as soon as I saw it, I recognized it. This is from when Cardi B was pregnant. Because I remember doing a video on this. And I was like, Cardi B needs to kind of chill out while she's pregnant. You know, because if that golf cart would have tipped over, she could have been hurt. So this is an old video that was not Lizzo in the golf cart with Cardi B. That was some other big girl, okay? So the Twitter trolls keep, like, any big girl viral video, they keep attaching it to Lizzo. So Lizzo got tired of it. So she basically quit Twitter earlier this week and then the whole Jillian Michaels controversy ended up erupting and so that caused more drama so now Jillian Michaels was confronted yesterday by TMZ and this is what Jillian had to say y'all go ahead and check this out how you doing Miss Michaels I wanted to talk to you about the Lizzo thing I know people have been very critical of you here's what I'm gonna say to you I'm a health expert for decades I have said repeatedly that your weight and your size have no bearing or merit on your value your beauty your worth your ability where it does have relevance is your health. Of course. And to pretend that it doesn't is not only irresponsible, it's dangerous, and it's just not a lie I'm willing to tell because it's politically correct, man. Right, of course. I and I, hear, I, I think that your overall point was actually missed. I think that- my, my overall point is that um, take care of your health because you love yourself. Right. That's, that's kind of the whole point. Right. And that we should value people based on their skills and their abilities. It should be irrelevant what size they are. Right. That's up to them. And I think something you said was that why aren't we praising her for her voice? For her this- music. But like her her health is her business. But again, like I am a health expert. People right. come to me, they ask me about health information. Right. 
Obesity is the number one contributor to diabetes, heart disease, cancer. I wish that on absolutely no one, man. Right. Then, absolutely no Obviously, it wasn't at Lizzo, wasn't it? I didn't even bring her up. They right. brought her up. I got you. I, I got you. Have I a good day. It. All right, so you guys just heard what Jillian said. And basically, she doubled down in her stand. Now, one thing I will say is this. I respect her for that. I respect the fact that she's like, I said what I said. And if you don't like it, that's your business, not mine. Too many times we live in a world where people give an opinion, right or wrong, it's their opinion. And as soon as they catch any type of heat, any type of backlash, then they feel the need to kowtow to the, you know, to the public and to bow and beg for forgiveness and say, well, I didn't mean it that way. She said, no, that's what I meant. I feel like, you know, if you are heavier, you're at a higher risk for health complications. She's a health fitness instructor and she's been doing this for years. She has videos and, you know, video games, DVDs, all that stuff, right? So I like the fact that she did double down and she basically said that for her, she's going to prioritize health. She also took to her Instagram page and this is what she wrote on Instagram. I've stated repeatedly, we are all beautiful, worthy, equally deserving. I also feel strongly that we love ourselves enough to acknowledge there are serious health consequences that come with obesity, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, to name a few. I would never wish these for anyone. And I would hope we prioritize our health because we love ourselves and our bodies. So that's what she posted. And so, like I said, the internet is definitely mixed. And if you guys don't know, a few weeks ago, Lizzo and Boyce Watkins went back and forth. And I talked about this on um, my YouTube live um, where I feel like at times it's crazy because it seems like for whatever reason, this black woman is like the, you know, the poster child or the face of obesity, of obesity, heart disease, and you know, everything else. But yet and still you have a lot of men out here who are big as hell and they're never the face of any of these ailments. So I find that very interesting. Go ahead and check out this flashback. I would did my video on Lizzo. Now, my thing is this, what I'm confused about, I get some of what Boyce is saying, you know, the whole mammy thing, and, you know, like I said before on Instagram, sometimes she does goofy stuff, and it's like, sis, they're not laughing with you, they're laughing at you, okay? And Azealia Banks also caught her mammy, you know, a few months ago. Boyce basically posted a tweet and said, you know, she's advocating obesity, diabetes, this is not good. You know, she's overweight and all this stuff. I'm confused. Is Boyce thin? Like, do he have, I mean, I know he's lost some weight, but he he at one point was big too. You know, but what I find funny is that a man can be big. He can be sloppy, you know, sloppy built, no six pack, more, more ass in the stomach than in the damn back. And nobody really questions that. Nobody really clowns him or says that, you know, he's the poster child for diabetes and hypertension. But if a woman is fat or big or obese, then it's like she's the poster child for all things wrong in, in black America. It's just weird. It's just weird. Like, keep the same energy. Like, is, I, I mean, am I? Maybe I'm wrong. Like, is boys thin? Like, I'm confused. Aren't you plump? <laughs> I'm just saying. Why when it's a woman, all of a sudden, like, she has to be the poster child for everything? Like, he, he's big, too. Hell, they all need to, you know, be on some type of diet challenge. Like, what the hell? That's the pot calling the kettle black. You know, so that's my thing. But do I do I agree with him when he's saying that she is playing into an archetype? I definitely do. I feel like at this point, she's more known for, like, her, her foolishness than she is her music. And that's just keeping it real. I already caught that out when I talked about her wearing that damn T-shirt dress with the ass cheeks cut out. But as far as, like, the whole weight thing, does she need to lose weight? If she feels the need to lose weight, great, lose it. But that's not for me to shame her or pressure her. What I'm saying is that at the end of the day, you have to let people come into their own journey. Shaming somebody or constantly reminding them that they're big or they're overweight, that's not helping. She has to realize that, you know what? Damn, I'm damn near 500 pounds or however much she weighs. Maybe it's time for me to slim down. Maybe I should start taking my health more seriously. But she has to come into that consciousness. It's not for Boyce Watkins to tell her or for people to make memes about how big she is and stuff like that. She tries to say that she's comfortable in her size and she is who she is. I feel like a lot of that is bravado. While I do feel like there's some comfort, you know, she feels some comfortability in her size, 
I still feel like she does she does a bit too much. People who are comfortable with their size, when you're comfortable in your own skin, you, you don't have to do too much. It's just going to show, right? It's just natural. Just like if you're just a regular, confident, sexy woman, you're going to exude sex appeal. You don't have to show it all off for the gram, okay? So that that's how I feel. Do y'all get what I'm saying or am I being mean? Let me see. Am I being mean or am I keeping it real? Let's read the comments. Okay, y'all understand what I'm saying. Okay, so Love Unruly says, I see the insecurities. Right. Just like when she did that live stream. She ran it for eight minutes. I'm doing me. I don't care what y'all say. I've been funny. I can walk with my ass out. Then she started crying. <laughs> Wait, you were just screaming about confidence and walking with your ass? What the fuck you crying for? Make it make sense. So a lot of people do stuff and then they try to act like they're so secure and that's why they're, I can do what I want. You can. But then be prepared for that backlash because people are going to have opinions of you. But again, having opinions and shaming her about her weight that's not going to get her to change her weight. She has to come into that. That's something she has to do. All right, so you guys just heard me talk about it on the live stream. So now what's going on is this. Yesterday, Lizzo basically took to her social media page and she had a message for everybody who has her name in their mouth. Y'all go ahead and check this out. If my name is in your mouth, so is my pussy, bitch. Enjoy the flavor. Honey, okay, Lizzo, that response was kind of disturbing, but uh, I guess, sis, you do you, boo, okay? Anyways, y'all just heard her damn response. I wasn't ready for that. Any <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a hot mess of a response, but I understand her frustration, okay? So a lot of people want to know, you know, T, what is your opinion on this? Do you agree with Julian? Do you agree with Lizzo? How do you feel? And in my personal opinion, I see both sides, okay? I can't sit here in front. I understand both sides. Kudos to Julian Michaels for not backing down, saying I said what I said. I stand by my stance, and that's it. That's all. I don't feel like people should really be celebrating anybody's body like they're a piece of meat. I don't care if it's Lizzo. I don't care if it's Beyonce. So many times, especially when it comes to women, we put so much pressure on women's bodies to be whatever society deems is perfect. And the second they're not in that perfect box or they gain or they gain a little bit of weight, you know, like I know Rihanna went through it and people were like, oh, is she pregnant? She gained weight. She's getting thicker. It's like we constantly pick apart women's bodies and we don't do the same necessarily to men, okay? I'm not that men don't get judged or you know sexualized but it's not as often and it's not as extreme as when women get judged and, and you know overtly sexualized okay at the end of the day all these people are performers they're not necessarily role models and I think that the um that the interviewer was trying to be messy okay that was a baited question I feel like the interviewer from Buzz News was being messy the only questions that should have been asked were questions pertaining to Jillian Period, point blank. They had no business bringing Lizzo's name into anything. They did that to be messy in hopes of going viral because they knew, because they know how Jillian is. She's very health conscious. She's very about exercising. I mean, for goodness sake, she was a coach on The Biggest Loser, which was a show about, you know, making fat people lose weight. So they, I felt like they asked her that question to bait her and to be messy. And Jillian, she basically fell for the bait, okay? At the end of the day, Everybody is free to love their own body, you know, obese or not, slim or not, thick, thin, whatever. That's your body. You should love your body. You should think highly of your body. But that also does not equate to necessarily being healthy, okay? And then we also have to be careful with this. Health is not black and white. You can be skinny. You can have a cute shape. And you might have the worst lungs, the worst heart. You could have diabetes. So you can't necessarily, we need to be careful when we look at somebody physically and we try to self-diagnose them. I see that a lot on social media, especially when it comes to like psychological stuff. Oh, well, she's bipolar. She got ADHD. How do you know? Where the fuck did you get your psychology degree? The comment section of YouTube? You know, people love to just diagnose people. And we need to be careful with that because, you know, determining somebody's health by their size, it's not necessarily black and white. You know, you have some people out here who are big, but even though they're bigger, they work out, they're healthy, they're running, you know, they just happen to be big and it's not easy for them to lose the weight like other people. 
You know, then you have some people who are thinner or may have got some work done and they're on point, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're healthy and their heart is healthy and they don't have diabetes and things like that. At the end of the day, you have millions of people out here who deal with, you know, health conditions regardless of weight. And I think that we need to stop trying to tie every negative, you know, health condition, obesity, diabetes, heart disease. We need to stop tying that to Lizzo, okay? Lizzo is not the first big girl out here. I see big people out here in the world every time I go outside. Every time I go to Walmart, why do we act like big people just don't exist? I mean, it's like the weirdest thing. It's like on social media, people act like she's some type of anomaly. When you can go outside in your neighborhood and see people who are Lizzo size and even bigger. You know, if you're one of those people who are bigger, but you do work out, you do watch what you eat, then it's kind of unfair to just slide that person in that category. So I think that can be kind of dangerous, especially when we keep tying, you know, we keep making Lizzo the face of obesity and the face of everything wrong with black America. You know, that's not okay we have a lot of people out here who are big who are plus size but they still dress you know with class they still carry themselves a certain way so I think that's where sometimes Lizzo loses a lot of people you know especially with that whole t-shirt debacle that was not cute I don't give a damn what nobody says big smile I don't want to see your ass cheeks at a damn basketball game I think that's where Lizzo kind of lost you know a lot of supporters at that point it's like okay sis we understand you're big we understand the body positivity but you're doing a bit too much okay even her response response to me was just kind of I would have respected it more had it been like a more well thought out response like that was just so you know junior high Instagram you know how my pussy tastes that was just so ratchet like if she would have just came back and been like you know what Okay, I see what you're saying, Julian Michaels, but I'm healthy. I work out. Don't worry about what I eat. You know what I'm saying? You worry about you and I'm going to worry about me. Even saying something like that would have been, would have sufficed more. And then, you know, so easy to play the ratchet, raunchy route. So I didn't really like her response. I thought she could have handled her response with a little bit more tact. But again, that's my opinion. Y'all can have your opinion on her response. But anyways, y'all. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. I want to know all y'all's opinions concerning this controversy of Jillian Michaels versus Lizzo. Okay, I want to do a whole breakdown for you guys. So are you team Jillian Michaels on this? Do you feel like she said nothing wrong? She spoke nothing but the truth and obesity does cause a lot of health issues? Or are you team Lizzo on this? And you know, if Lizzo wants to be big, that's her business. Let her live her best life and people need to get off her back. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.